the wealth of all of us, the wealth of society, the income of all of us, is far more to do with the efforts and achievements of the many generations who came before us than anything we do ourselves. But I don't know if your ancestors or mine or other people's contributed more or less. And if we allow private inheritance of private wealth, then we should see a basic income as a sort of public inheritance, a common dividend on the collective wealth. If we could only understand that we need to dismantle rentier capitalism, including the intellectual property rights system that I described in that book that you just mentioned, it is obscene. We've just seen with the pandemic, okay, these three super mega multinational corporations led by Pfizer. Pfizer has been fined billions of dollars for false claims and for using unproven methods of treatment over the years and still is allowed to become a phenomenal multi-billion dollar profit-making machine because it's got government subsidies just as uh, the others did. And I mentioned that in the preface of that book you mentioned. Mm -hmm. They didn't take the risks. We took the risks because they got public funding and then they get the, the patent and the patent gives them a monopoly income for 20 years. So nobody else, unless they license it and make more billions, is allowed to produce the medicine that could be reducing COVID and the consequences of COVID around the world. But we have a rotten intellectual property rights system where you, corporations are patenting, giving themselves monopolistic profits. The whole system was designed, incidentally, by Pfizer in 1994. They led the campaign that led to TRIPS that is, has this globalized system of, of intellectual property rights, so that now 20% of the world income is going to intellectual property. But this, this is, as Thomas Jefferson again, second time I mentioned him, which is unusual, Thomas Jefferson understood. He said, ideas in nature cannot be made the subject of property. Ideas belong to all of us. When the man who invented the polio vaccine, when he, when he was interviewed on television by the famous uh, journalist, uh, he, in 1955, John Salk, he said, when he was asked, well, who, who owns the patent? I see Jonathan knows this story. Who owns the patent? He said, well, nobody. The sun, it belongs to everybody. It's needed for humanity. That's a healthy society. Every yes, you should have rewards, but you shouldn't have property rights that stretch into the future. It's ridiculous. Every Rotarian knows that story. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But it's a story. It is a story because, you know, it, it has enormous consequences when we see these producers of the, the vaccinations who've made billions, but meanwhile, unnecessary numbers of people are dying. Yeah. And what sort of system is that? <laughs>